I have probably two or three videos about how to prune your uh, santolina or your cotton lavender, but now it's again one moment when you should prune your cotton lavender. Because from now, it's like I, I told you, it's at the end of August, we have September, October, uh, and the plant has time to recover to go into the winter. So what I'm expecting it after I prune this, uh, they will have uh, just a little bit of buds and uh, you will go with it in winter, very beautiful, very mound and again with color. As you can see over there, I have another Santolina. So that Santolina is Rosmarinophila, this one. As you can see, this is the green one. So I, I've cut this one uh, a little bit of a month ago and it recovered all okay. This, this is the old wood. So you can cut this down so it doesn't look like this, okay? But now this plant is it's in perfect shape and it's mound. And I'm going to give it a little trim again with the other one, with the silver one. So what happens if you don't prune it? As you can see over here, the lavender, this cotton lavender or Santolina, because it's so heavy, because these branches are so heavy, they just fall. And look, this plant is very leggy right now. So what I'm trying to do is this, I'm going to prune this, I can go very low, very low. Like, look, here we have some buds. So if, if I cut over here or here, the plant will recover. And that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to give it a hard, a very hard prune. And until the winter, I'm going to make another video to show you how well this plant is recovering when you prune it. So this plant is almost unkillable. I'm going to start prune it and then at the end we'll come back and we'll talk a, a little bit of how the plant is looking. Okay, let's go. Okay, so uh, this is uh, how your Santolina should look <laughs> at the end uh, of August, beginning of September. Remember, this plant, all, all these little buds will grow and they will cover the plant between the first, uh, between now and uh, probably at the beginning of uh, December. The plants, uh, you won't even see this wood over here. All these buds will cover the plant. Uh, so don't be afraid to cut it down. Santolina is a very, very hardy uh, plant and it's, uh, it's going to resist very well when you prune it. Uh, one more thing I want to, uh, to take, to, to bring it into your attention. In the beginning, when you prune it, be very careful at wasps. So I have here a wasp nest. And, uh, yeah, because I didn't, I didn't saw the, the, the wasps, uh, they, they sting me. <laughs> and, uh, yes, this is, a, this is a very important thing. You should be very careful. But, uh, other than that, yeah, prune your Santolina, prune your lavender. Uh, in the beginning, uh, of, uh, September is the perfect time to prune not only your Santolina, but even your other lavender. So if you forgot to prune your lavender, the, the Angustifolias or the X Intermedia, now it's a very good time to prune it. I'm going to make a clip about pruning the other lavenders because I'm going to the farm these days and probably I'm going to show you how to prune your lavender in the fall. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this clip and you think uh, it helped you, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. And of course, until next time, stay safe and grow plants. See you guys. Bye.